Hey YouTube, Corey Walker here, owner and lead software engineer for Rocky Top Solutions. And last week we went over two of the most popular cloud-based CI/CD providers, Travis CI and Circle CI. This week we're going to compare Travis CI to Jenkins. Jenkins is a little different than Travis CI and Circle CI, so we'll go over some of the major details of each one, and then at the end we'll list some pros and cons for each one so that you can decide which one's best for your needs. But before we start, I'd like to take a moment and just say that if you find this video helpful and you think others could find this video helpful, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this for software tutorials, DevOps tutorials, please hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get to it. All right guys, so last week we compared Travis CI and Circle CI. They were both pretty similar since they are both primarily cloud-based CI CD providers. And I'll link to that video in the description below, but you can also click up here in the corner to check it out. Travis CI and Jenkins on the other hand are different compared to how they run. Uh, they're, but they're two of the most popular CI CD platforms. Each one has some unique features that can differentiate it from the other one and can also make it more suitable for your needs. Travis CI is probably the most popular cloud-based CI CD provider as of the filming of this video in June 2020. It's always free for open source projects and so many of those projects use Travis CI for their CI CD provider and there's a good reason why so many, so many of them use it and the first one is the configuration is pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is create a .travis.yaml file in the root of your repository, add all the different configuration properties you would like, push it to your remote repo, and then integrate your either GitHub or Bitbucket with Travis CI, and then every push from then on to your remote repo automatically triggers a build. That also allows you to copy configuration files to additional projects, make just a few tweaks to whatever you need for that specific project. That project will automatically build on Travis CI as well. They also, Travis CI also does have support for numerous languages, pretty much every language that people are using nowadays, they automatically support out of the box. I'll post a link in the description below to list of different languages that Travis CI supports that way you know from get-go if they automatically support which language you're using projects with private repositories they do offer paid plans that start either at $63 a month annually or if you pay monthly at $69 a month but they do offer unlimited build minutes unlimited repositories and unlimited users but it, li it limits you to one concurrent job at a time but they do not charge extra for Mac OS builds, Windows builds, or image size, or any of that. It's just one flat price, and it all just depends on how many concurrent jobs you want. One of the really neat features of Travis CI that makes it stand out from a lot of other CI CD platforms is a thing called the build matrix. The build matrix allows you to add properties in your .travis.yaml to where it will build or run multiple builds concurrently against different uh, either backends or Ruby versions, library versions. You can set up how you want that to run and they'll all run concurrently if you have that availability on your plan. And you can test all these different things at the same time. So that is a really cool feature of Travis CI that I haven't seen any other CI CD platforms provide as of right now. One of the downfalls, however, of Travis CI is the cost starts kind of getting expensive once you want more and more concurrent builds. Although this only applies to projects with private repositories. One of the other downfalls of Travis CI is that they only integrate with GitHub and Bitbucket. If your source code management provider is not GitHub or Bitbucket, Travis CI is not gonna work for you. Now moving over to Jenkins. Jenkins has been around a very long time in the technology world. Um, since 2005, definitely probably one of the most utilized CI CD platforms as of today. It's an open source project, so no licensing fees or subscription to purchase. You just download it, and install it on your own infrastructure that you have set up and configured. So that's one thing that really makes it different than Travis CI. Jenkins does not have a cloud-based option from Jenkins themselves. 
There are a few third-party cloud-based vendors that offer a Jenkins cloud-based system. And I'll link to those in the description below as well if you want to check those out. But for the most part, Jenkins, you just download this open source project and you install it on your own infrastructure. But it is open source, thus it's been vetted and verified for years and years and years. So it's very stable and very trusted. Jenkins also has a very large repository of plugins. These plugins can help you automate a lot of what you need a CI CD platform to do. That way you do not have to write the scripts and automation yourself. They have over 1500 plugins, so a very high majority of many things you need the CI CD platform to do. There's probably a plugin for it. Another good thing about Jenkins compared to Travis is support for additional source code management providers instead of just GitHub and Bitbucket. So if you are using a different uh, source code management provider than GitHub or Bitbucket, I would be looking more at the Jenkins side of things than Travis CI. Also, you are more control and more control of your deployment than you can be if you're just utilizing a third-party service such as Travis CI. You can control how much memory, your CPU, everything you want to provide for your infrastructure for Jenkins to run on, you are in control of it. You also can run multiple concurrent processes at the same time with Jenkins by default, as long as your infrastructure that you've provided it can run it. One of the downfalls of Jenkins is a lack of the direct or direct vendors of provided cloud hosted solution. But you can, as I said, find some third party hosted solutions for Jenkins and I will link to those in the description below. In this video, we've discussed two of the most popular CI CD platforms available today. Each one has qualities where it has an advantage over the other one. Which CI CD platform or provider do you use and why? Have you tried any other CI CD platforms and have you noticed any pros and cons versus what you're currently using? Leave your comments below and let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, I'd like to take a moment to say that if you found any benefit from this video and you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And if you would like to see more videos like it for software tutorials, cybersecurity, and DevOps, please hit that subscribe button now. We'll see you next time.